appreciate it. All right, welcome in, welcome in. Hey, we're excited. We're going to ask everyone to, to mute when they come in. We're excited about talking about what every single woman needs to know to marry the one. Yeah. We are excited about it. Yes. Super excited to, to be with you all tonight. And we've had a lot of women that have been DMing us about what the tips are because they want to date better. They want to meet the one this year. And the fact of the matter is, and I get it, ladies, because I've been there, is that you are ready for love. You have everything else professionally. You've hit all of your goals. But the one thing that's missing is your one. All right. So we're going to open up in prayer because we're believers. And then we're going to get right to it because we know we only have a little bit of time with you. Your time is valuable and we're excited about it. And then and then while you come after we pray, we want you to drop in and let us know where you're checking in from. Yes. All right. Where you're checking in from. We're based in Atlanta, Georgia. All right. Let's do it. Uh, gracious Lord, we're excited about today. Lord, we're excited to partner as husband and wife to talk about what is it? What is it? What does it take in modern times to get married? What what is it that we're thinking as men and what is it that women need to be doing uh, to, to attract us? And what do we need to do to be marriage minded so that we can get married? We know the rates of loneliness are record high for men and women. So why are we not connecting tonight? We're going to focus on the ladies, Lord. You've asked yeah. us to focus on the ladies. That's what you've asked us to do, to be able to show them and reveal the formula for what men are looking for. Marriage minded men, not the yeah. way not, 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 not stringers, not people stringing you along, but marriage minded men who are frustrated and they cannot find the one. Reveal it to the ladies so that they can know and be able to take control of their own ring formula. We ask and pray you allow us to work together as a team and do it well and have fun. These things we ask in Jesus' holy name, amen. Amen, amen, All right. amen. All right, so where y'all coming in from? Where y'all coming in from? Uh, let us know in the chat, where are you coming in from? All right, all right, ladies. So you hear us and see us. Let us know where you're coming in from. Is the chat enabled? Did you did you enable yeah. chat, baby? Mm -hmm. All right. Can you... Let's see. Chat is unavailable. All right. So how do we do okay. that? All right. Could you enable it, baby? So let's see. So we have California. We also have DC and the QA. I see you guys are sending your messages in the QA. We're going to figure out how to enable the chat in a second. So right now you can send your locations view, um, via the question and answer so we know exactly where you're tuning in from. All right, let's see. Let's see. All right, let me see. I'm going to check the, um, the Q&A. Keep sending your messages so we know exactly where you are tuning in from. And again, we're so excited that you guys are joining in with us tonight because we know it's about movement, right? Movement makes There we go. There we go. We got All right. Now the chat is actually active. Okay. So I have Cleveland, Ohio. I have Lee, Georgia, which I've never heard of Lee, Georgia. And I've been all over Georgia. Atlanta, New York. New York City, Ohio. Cleveland in the house. Yes. Cleveland. Boom, 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 Philly, Birmingham, Lincoln, H Town, Houston, Oh, Warner Robins, Wisconsin, Alpharetta, Florida, Arlington, Houston. Texas, Chicago, Philly. all over, all, San Diego, Tallahassee, Toronto, Toronto, oh, Charleston. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. So, so we're we're excited. Dubai. Dubai at six a.m. So she said, "All right, quit playing with me. Quit playing with me." Y'all see teamwork make the dream. Right. We're sitting here trying to figure out. <laughs> What to do with the chat? You know that was your job, baby. That was your job. She was doing all the other jobs I weren't. I wasn't doing, baby. All right, so let's dive in tonight because we want we want y'all to be interactive. Right. We want y'all to be interactive, and we all gonna get a lot of value tonight. You're gonna get a lot of value tonight because we're not gonna waste your time. Right. And we'll say it boldly, ladies. You're gonna learn something probably that you've never learned just by watching this presentation. And we are gonna tell you, being transparent, we are gonna tell you how to work with us. We're yeah. going to tell you that, all right? Y'all know what this is, right? But just from watching this, you're going to have significantly more power when it comes to dating because we're going to take away the mystery as to what marriage-minded men are looking for, mm -hmm. all right? Mm -hmm. Just this week, I've spoken with, what, what four men yesterday on television, right? And five of my personal friends, and they are all frustrated, and they are all good men, in my opinion, Right. All good men. You know who they are. 
Yes. These good men? Oh, they're amazing. These are amazing men. These these are actually doing... have some really good men on the market. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So I'm like, brother, if you're struggling, that's why I never leave in Mecca, bro. If you are struggling to bring them in. So these are not the kind of men that you would think would struggle, but mm -hmm. I get it because Mecca and I uh, had a difficult time. I know, and that's why we came up with a plan. And I said, what is it that you're looking for? And when they said it to a man, we knew what it is. Mm -hmm. All right. Say any of them, 30 to 35. Listen, she's they are, they, are, they are all over the gamut. They're mm -hmm. all over the gamut. Some younger, uh, mostly older, mm -hmm. you know. Oh, age maybe slightly yeah. younger. A bit older. Yeah, yeah, doing it. Mm -hmm. Doing it. A couple of them are celebrities. Right? I'm yeah. just yeah, I'm like, bro, if just anyway, so let's dive in. Y'all know I, we can we we can we can have uh we can have fun all day. All right. So so let's 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 dive, let's dive right in. All right. All right. All right. So uh I'll just back this up. This is my mech and I'm not on my game. All right, here bam, here we go. All right. So welcome to the ring formula for attracting marriage minded, minded men. men. Yes. I'm Dr. Eldon Tart. And I'm Mecca Tart. All right. And we've been working together for what, like what? How long? Over a decade? Yeah. Over a decade. So. We it's we been met over a decade. We met as underground matchmakers, mm -hmm. right? And then when we when we got together to do an event. I just took the liberty of hooking myself up. You did. You I did. I did. Why let her go out there to the dating pool uh, when I could hook myself up first? So uh, we were both single and neither one of us uh, had very much luck. Right. I mean, we had a lot of dates. Right. Finding the one we found to be incredibly difficult. Well, you know, just when you have those dates where it's like it's refreshing because you meet someone who you actually gel with and that's hard to come by. For sure. For sure. All right. And so, you know, the, the question, the question is like, what are marriage minded men looking for in a wife? Mm. I'm going to be honest, babe. Like, how do y'all not know mm. as a man? How do you not know? I'm not talking about the club. No, no disrespect. But we have some friends who are club promoters who are happily married and some yeah. who are still single. Right. And eventually they will get married. Yeah. Because because married, I mean, single men want to want to eventually settle down they do. right most yeah most. They do. not all all right mm -hmm. how is it that y'all don't know help me understand y'all drop this in the chat how do you not know what marriage mind men are looking for or you know what they might know mm -hmm. they might know if you think you know what the men are gonna say and we're gonna reveal the answer so you're gonna right. see if you're smarter than a psychologist if you're smarter than than a sales rep drop drop it in the chat what you think single marriage Minded yeah. men are looking for men that these are men who want to get married to the next woman whom they date. Mm -hmm. What is it that you think they are looking for? Let us know. All right. If you haven't met him yet, what do you think they are looking for in a wife? Come on now. Okay. Right. So I see peace. Oh, man, that's a good one. That's a good one for married men. That's what married men want when they're already peace married. Support. Peace, support, a woman who brings femininity, a yes. help, a helpmate, Nurture. a nurturer, uh, respect. Yeah, put some respect on my name. Someone babe. to have fun with. To have fun, right? All right, so let's see. So y'all, a test, confidence. Yes, confidence. Y'all can see I'm hyped. Mecca's uh, telling me to calm down. I'm asking you to come back into the camera frame, love. Oh, my bad, my bad. Yeah. I, was misreading, I was misreading the cues. I'm like, what's going on, right? Loyalty, support, secure, a confident, confident attractive, attractive woman. friendship. You know, y'all got about what, 20% of them? Mm -hmm. Y'all got 20%, but, that's, but this is why we're here. Because y'all are missing, all right? The formula that a godly woman and a mm -hmm. praying woman, come on now, mm -hmm. come on now, all right? What, what y'all are missing is that it's not just one thing. It's right. multiples. Right. Like men want this plus this plus this plus this plus this and this and this equals a lasting connection, which is a wife. Mm -hmm. Right. So y'all got most of them. All right. And we're going to dive in. But you know what? We're going a little bit too fast. We haven't told you, you know, what we do. Yes. So I am Mecca Tart and we focus on with the ring formula with helping for professional single women get married. So my, my, I guess would say expertise is in prospecting and positioning yourself. Cause it's something that I have to do day in and day out because I've been in sales for a very long time. So I know exactly where you need to go. 
So the ladies that went through the last cohort, right. they knew the Super Bowl parties to be at. They knew the different events to be at throughout the city. So it's like, it's also knowing exactly where to be. And a lot of times women don't understand that. If I could toot your harm, my, my wife can get into almost any room, right? Any room. But here's why. She's a sales rep. This is what she's been paid to do the last 20 years is position herself in front of doctors, right now, cardiologists, right, to be able to get the sale. And there is, does, does your boss take, I couldn't find them as an answer? No. Right. So, so sales reps, lobbyists, uh, anyone in sales, you, uh, um, uh, groupies even get this right yeah. right socialites get this yeah. you have to be in the room all right and so so mecca is is queen of positioning oneself to be around men all right we're going to talk about the mindset of how to do that mm -hmm. in any city that you're in because when i hear people say where are all the good men that's what makes mm -hmm. men mad like how hard are you trying right because we're out here all right and my name is dr alvin Lentard. i've been a psychologist for 26 years y'all so this is what i do every single day i talk to men intimately i talk to women intimately mm -hmm. and help them to uh, just just become the one in addition to work through their marriages, as you know. So we, you know, Mech and I, uh, not only do we focus on singles. We also focus, because once our ladies get engaged and get married, we focus on a weekend for love. This is actually a picture here from the vow renewal that took place um, at a weekend for love. It's actually going to be our sixth anniversary of the vow renewal and a weekend for love this year. And so once you get married, we want you to stay together. And so we provide a Weekend for Love, which is a luxury marriage retreat and wealth building conference for couples that are dedicated to their marriage. Right, because we're not trying to have people who are married. We want people who are happily married, y'all. So y'all check that out. It's going to be in Cabo this year, y'all. It's going to be in Cabo. Cabo. All right, every time we go, we come home with a different child, but not this time. <laughs> not this time. We, we, are, we are solid. We are solid. All right. So, ladies... Ladies, listen, so you pass this up if you don't have a serious plan to get married. So this is our wedding day. And when you don't have a plan, when you don't have a strategy, because people put a strategy in place. I have some professional women that are listening right now, and they have a strategy when it comes to their book of business, how to achieve their goals, how to move to the next position. But when it comes to dating and I ask them what their strategy is, it's crickets. Right. Right. It's just a blind spot. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, I talk to women at every stage of life. And the biggest regret I get from women who are uber successful is that they did not focus on dating to the degree that it mattered to them. Mm -hmm. Right. Now, there's some of you that you are happily single. Right. Mm -hmm. And we want you to stay there. But there's some of you who are un who are unhappily married, mm -hmm. right? You're unhappily married and you don't want mm -hmm. to be there. You need a plan. Right. Mecca and I, when 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 we decide, I said, look, I'm not going another month without finding my wife. And Mecca said the same thing. We put together a plan and God brought us together. But it wasn't just waiting. We right. were out here. We were out here, we were making it happen. Baby, you, mm -hmm. you know, you know, you almost weren't here. It was, it, it was almost Rihanna. Oh, please. It was almost Rihanna. Oh, please. It was almost Rihanna, right? She was not my competition. No, okay. Okay, you're right. <laughs> I could have been a wrong boy. Anyway, all right, we're not gonna waste these people's time. All right. So so let's let's, let's get into it. Cause if you don't, if you don't have a plan, uh what we want to avoid is the pain of you wanting to get married mm -hmm. and not realizing that there's faith and works that's necessary. Right. Right. You don't say I want to upgrade a job, a career, right. and say, all right, I'm just gonna pray about it. You're gonna pray, you're gonna put in an application, you're also gonna network, right? You're gonna get the certifications, you're gonna do the things. You're not gonna say, I want a better body, I'm just gonna pray about it. Right. right? And when it comes to finding a husband, finding a spouse, mm -hmm. both of us have to do the work. And we want this to be you on your wedding day. So how would your life be different if you married the one? Yeah, type type it in the chat. Like what comes to yeah. mind, ladies? How would life be different mm -hmm. if you, when you married the yeah. one? What is it that, you know, um, what is it? You know, it says that uh, without a vision, the people perish, but with a vision, the people flourish, right? Go ahead. Like, what is it? What is it? that would be different mm -hmm. if you married the one all right come on now joy 
uh, laughter, stability. Come on now, security. Why are they coming in so fast? Let's see. Someone to do life with, a partner to grow old with, accountability, traveling together, be an example of others, that. have friendship. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, to be able to come home. Uh, imagine. I've been that. rested. I'm come in a doctoral program and work in tech full time. I'm always tired. Right. Can, can we be honest? There are times in which uh, one of us holds it down for the other. Mm -hmm. Like you've been holding, like you got both the kids, you know, down, yeah. right? You don't know that our oldest kid was on another lockdown at the high school today. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's another lockdown. But it, it wasn't for a gun, it was from a former student that walked in the building. But it's the third time, y'all, in two weeks. Right. So it's just, it's just being able to partner. Yeah. It's being able to partner and do like how many of y'all would like to do life together? Mm -hmm. How many of you would like to get that passport stamped together? Yeah, and can we pause for one second? Because I see it coming up recurring in the chat is what that so many women feel like the weight of being single and having to do it all the time by themselves carry the weight is just it's heavy. Um, and I talked about this recently um at a church full of women, 400 women in the audience. And we talked about how it's even becoming more difficult for women to tap into their femininity when they have to carry such a heavy load. So it's not something that they look forward to, but it actually takes away from that feminine side. Right. And and we're tired too. Mm -hmm. uh, I know y'all say, no, you're not. Right. Well, after men get through the phase where they don't want to be, you know, with every, every woman in the world, mm -hmm. men, single men envy the married man. Yeah. Because they like what he has. Like, look, mm -hmm. look, he has more house. Why? Mm -hmm. Because typically it's two incomes or at least there's a partner or at least someone to bounce ideas off of. So I don't have to do everything alone. And I, and, and what's the point of having, you know, empty sex, if I can be mm -hmm. honest, if I'm not building anything, right? We're not, we're not, we're not building, we're not growing, right? If I want children, I'd like to keep them in a nuclear household, right? Mm -hmm. Men would like to retire too. Your retirement plus my retirement mean we can retire faster. Let me just right. read the book. Which y'all which don't realize, and a lot of men are tired of being in the streets. I know you're saying marriage-minded men. Right. Not all men. Right. I got to keep it real. All right. Marriage-minded men are tired of being in the streets because they're just as scarred as, as you are. Men men been, people just come and go to dinner because they're hungry, but they have right. no interest in the man. Right. Right. Or, or they want the lifestyle that he provides. They don't really like him. Mm -hmm. Right. Like men are scarred by that. Right. Mm -hmm. So, so, so let's dive in. Let, let's talk. Y'all want the formula sex? Quit playing. Type quit playing in the chat if you want the formula. If you want the formula, type quit playing. Quit playing. All right. Let's do it. All right. Hold on. I'm not going to give it to them all. Should I give it to them first up front? Should I give it to them all? Let's break it down. So I can yeah. my bad. All right. So. All right. So I'll tackle. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll go over the entire. All right. So visual, but, visual chemistry. Hold on, hold on, hold on, baby. You wanna... I'm, I'm excited about this, right? Because I'm okay, like, and I get to, I get to peel away. We get to peel away what it is. All right. So when they sat down, they talked to men mm -hmm. and said, what is it that you want in a spouse? Here's the formula, right? So. They want, and we're going to break this down. All right. Men want visual chemistry. They want the perceived challenge. Plus perceived value. They want connection. Plus authenticity. And they want a helpmate. Equals. A deep and lasting attraction. Wife. Yeah. Right. The beginning. This is what yeah. men are failing to find when they are dating. And there are probably men on here watching right now and be like, yeah, uh, I got two, I have two of those on a date. Maybe, maybe one, right? And so you need to get all of these. You need to yep. get all of these. All right, so let's let's break these down. Mm -hmm. Let's break this down. Ladies, get out your um, notebooks. This, this is proven. And so you need to know this. It's so very important. So let's start off with visual chemistry. Visual chemistry is different for everyone, but you have to be confident in what you are presenting to your potential spouse. So as a woman, because I'm having a heart to heart conversation with you all right now, as a woman, if you don't feel comfortable with yourself, if you don't feel confident in the room, you are not going to attract your potential partner because you don't feel that. And that's what you're putting out there in the environment. So are you aware of what is attracting men to you? Now, on the other angle, I've talked to women that have said, I don't understand why I keep attracting playboys. Well, when you are exposing everything on your social media account, it says one thing. So you want to look and operate as if you are his future wife or the mother of his children. 
but confidence is golden. That is what's going to attract the type of man that you are most interested in. Yeah, I mean, just, just from a male perspective, like, you know, you have to be fly. You cannot, you cannot be the one if you're not supremely confident in how you attract men. Come on, ladies, talk. Can I, can I, can I pull yeah, my, go ahead. La ladies, come on, tell us, you know what it is, right? What is it that you have uniquely mm -hmm. that you know draws men to you? Mm -hmm. What is it? What is it? Is it, is it your legs? Come on, we're talking about, is, listen, because if you don't look good to us, it's a wrap. I'm going to be honest. If you don't look good to us, mm -hmm. it is a wrap. And ladies probably feel the same way, but y'all might be more prone to settle. Yeah. Especially if it's, it's bank account or right. six, six, nine, right? Right. Biggie Smalls, y'all might be willing to compromise. Jay-Z, you might be willing to compromise on, on, on what you want. Uh, LeBron James, right? Even though I just named, you know, great men, right? Uh, but what is it? You need to know. You don't you, you right. need to know. Is it your legs? Is it your is, smile? Is it your smile? Is it your humor? Right. Is it your laughter? Do, is is it is it um your hair? Like what is visually appeal? How do you create visual chemistry? So come on now. Oh, look at R8 says with her eyes and her curves. Yeah. Mm, uh, right. Uh come on, ladies. All right. Okay. You have to. The thing is, a lot of women that we find, especially in the beginning, don't. Some a lot of them don't know what their thing is. Are they questioned? Or they come. You or can they question it because they've been broken down by. And I, I know I'm gonna say the word. It always sends people off, but they've been broken down by a narcissist or playboy that has made them feel less. So they're rediscovering what they brought to the table because they've been broken down. Hey, it's coming through. Smile and legs, eyes, smile, intellect, right? Mm -hmm. Is it sarcasm? Is it humor? When you talk to a man, what is it that draws him to you that you know, like once I show up and you talk to me, you're going to like these things about mm -hmm. me. All right. That's the first thing I told you y'all were going to get a lot of value tonight. That's the first thing when you show up and you're not sure what distinguishes you right. from the other women in the room, mm -hmm. how can you be the one if you don't believe you're the one and only right. that can attract them the way you attract them? Mm -hmm. I'm going I'm to be transparent. Uh, visual chemistry uh, for me that I'm aware of. If I talk to you, all right, and, and I, I look in your eyes, right, and I listen to your dreams, right, and you hear my humor and you hear my passion, y'all can tell I'm hyper. You're going to know I like you. I'm like, girl, you fine. You bad. What's your name? Okay. Right, man. You 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 in doctorate program? You you sell medical devices? Only four percent of black women in the world do this. Mm -hmm. You smart. I like a smart woman. Ain't you fine? Ain't you funny? Can you pray, you love God? Oh, I do. Like you love God, girl. Come on, we leaving. We leaving right now. We don't need to do anything. I don't mean we going home. home. <laughs> well, let's go get someplace quiet so we can have a conversation, right? Mm -hmm. So I know my my philosophy. Uh, I know my thing. I'm not gonna come in. With with super muscular, right? Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna come in six eight. I'm not gonna come in with nine point four million dollars. But when you talk to me, you are gonna say a date with Aldo one was fun, and that brother feeling me. That brother's a super communicator, <laughs> right? You need to know the same thing. Right. All right, y'all got it. Y'all got it. All right. Mm -hmm. So, ooh, 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 this is my my favorites right here. Yes, it is. Ooh, perceived challenge. Are you a woman of high standards? We love women we think are going to say no to us. We are crazy, right? We like a chase. You, you know, say easy come, easy go. Yeah. Right? Men don't like easy. No. We like a challenge. Like, like, ladies, do you demand men? Do you demand us? Right. All right. Do you demand men, uh, I should have said, to meet those standards before you give them attention? Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Like, but before you give me attention, what is what is it that you demand of me? Mm -hmm. Right? Do I need to have my? Let's go ahead. Put it. Put it out there. What? What do you demand? Like this is the min. Like the bank has a credit score. Bank's not gonna rock with you if you don't have seven hundred credit, mm. six eighty credit, maybe six fifty credit. We don't need to look, have a conversation about right. you buying any real estate. We don't really need to have a conversation. Right. If if you're a real estate, uh, if you're a real estate um, uh, Agent professional or a broker, or what do you have to do? Drop it in chat. What do you have to do before they show you a house? What do, they, what do you have to do if you're in real estate and a real estate agent, you say, hey, I want to buy a house. What's the first thing they're going to ask you before they show you the house? Get pre-approved. Yeah. Affie, uh, 
Oh, I touched my co cousin. All right, Andrew. She knows pre-approved. If you're not pre-approved, I'm not showing you the house because I'm not wasting my time. Right. The bank does the same thing, right? So when it comes to perceived challenge, men love for you to say, to, to get my time, mm -hmm. you need to have these standards. And right. that's why when you diss men, we think, you know, you're saying, no, you're ugly. Or the guy that you don't like, he doesn't go away, right? Because now you are a perceived challenge to him. And men love that. So the opposite thing happens, ladies. If you don't consider yourself or you're not a perceived challenge, he then believes that you are pressed and you're always available. And I know we don't have a lot of time tonight to go into that, but there's also a way in which you date in which you have to make sure that you don't come off as pressed. We like it. We like the fact that we may not be able to get with you. And every right? husband says that every husband you hey. talk to, they saw their wife as a perceived challenge. You know, I wasn't really sure if she liked me, so I had to do all this and that. They all have. She wasn't. She. I ain't think she wasn't feel like the wife say. I wasn't really feeling him. You know, he was cute, but I wasn't sure. Right. I wasn't ready to right. get married. I was focusing on my career or I was dating another man. Right. right? He just kind of came around like my mom hated my dad. He used to kick off her sandal. They both went to Tuskegee <laughs> and he used to kick off her sandal. Uh, he used to sit behind her and kick off her sandal because she used to flip her little, you know, do a little feet with a sandal. Right. And it would drive him nuts. He'd kick it off. She thought he was so annoying, but mm -hmm. he was persistent. Right. And, you know, for the first month or so, I didn't think Mecca liked me. I didn't think Mecca liked me so much so when after like what, the third day after we had the, the I had a red carpet, y'all had a show on B2, right? I took her to the red carpet. She sat next to Chopper and everybody. I remember Chopper from making the Back band. In the day. We sat next to Chopper. We sat, we, we, Diddy was there, red carpet. Uh, I had a show with Garcelle Bouvet and Tashina Arnold. I was the man. Now, I didn't make it past the pilot, right? <laughs> for, 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 for reasons that have nothing to do with me, right? But I was like, I know this woman at least going to give me a kiss. And when I went in to kiss her, I was like, uh -uh. She, she turned her cheek. So much so when she went outside, I said, look, you know what? If you just here just to hang out, just let me know. I'm a big boy. Let me know. But don't don't lead me on if you don't like me. And it wasn't that. I had a standard that I didn't care who the person was, that I wasn't going to change how I operate when it came to dating. And so I told him, I was like, I don't kiss everybody initially in the dating process. Like, I like you. I like you a lot. But we've only been out on a few dates. Well, those other women were kissing me. But either way. Uh, so what did he do? He worked harder. You know what? And I liked it because uh, can I let y'all in a little male crazy psychology? I knew if she was not kissing me, she was not kissing other men, right? Because I was putting pressure on, right? I was trying to get every day. I, I wanted her to see me because remember, I felt like a woman like this wants to see me successful. So let her see me at the height of my career. Let me see her at, let her see how other people perceive me as I meant walk on the red carpet with me. This is what mm -hmm. life could be like, even though that was my, my, my first, second, third, mm -hmm. um, definitely my first major red carpet where I am being, you know, people taking pictures of me and asking me, you know, who, who I am. And, you know, cause I'm, I'm with the Arnold and Garcelle Bouvet. They were like, we know her, we know who was this dude in the middle. Right. So Anyway, but the fact that she was unimpressed by that, I was like, I have to go to another level. So ladies, we like to chase, perceived challenge. All right? All right? Is that it? Is that for the formula? No, that's not it. No. That's not, not it. So you have to, visual chemistry, ooh, when we see you, ooh, you have to be bad. Right. All right? Regardless of body type. Right. You just have to be confident. Right. right? In your package. The most confident woman in the room doing you, whatever right. that is, wearing whatever you're wearing, Behaving how you're behaving, doing you mm -hmm. is going to draw men to you, plus perceived challenges. You're yeah. not easy to get. Mm, you're not easy to get. Like, like this is my one chance right. to shoot my shot. So I better come hard because I may not see a woman like you, and I haven't seen a woman like you in six months. And this is what men are complaining. Right. Right. I can find eye candy, but a woman that's perceived challenge. Right. Ooh, okay. So you're already knocking mm -hmm. out 50% right there. And then we have perceived value, ladies. Listen, can you give this man experience in a life that he could never have alone? And what we're really talking about is that you're irreplaceable, that there is no other right woman out there that's like you. And I honestly feel that way about myself currently. 
and when I was dating. And so you have to get to a place where you know the value that you provide to that man. There is no woman that could do that. And, we're, and I'm actually not talking about being intimate. I'm not talking about sex. Because the first thing some people's minds go to, okay, well, I'm going to do this and that. Everybody's doing everything these days. Right. So there's Five, nothing, six. There's Five nothing, six. Right. There's nothing that you're going to do that won't top off the next woman. I'm talking about the value as a woman of God that you bring to the table, that you yep. pour into this man, that you uplift him like no other woman can, that you listen and pour into his life and he pours into you. What makes you unique in the dating process? I'm just going to put you on the spot, babe. All right. I'm going to put you on the spot. Uh, you said you were the only one that you were irreplaceable. Why are you irreplaceable to me? Like, what what are you bringing? What is your value that you bring into the table that I can't find in Riri, Rihanna? Absolutely. So the way that I mother our children, Facts. I believe you bet. no one can match Facts. me with that. Facts. I would also say that the way I have come in and connected our families from the very beginning, okay. I'm a person who likes to host and cultivate friendships and relationships. So this house will be quiet without me because I am the planner behind everything. That's true. Uh, I would say the way that I'm tuned into you, and that's something that we've worked through, but tuning into your life and, and what's most important to you and also supporting your goals and dreams. Like, is there another woman that can come and be a better cheerleader than I am to you? And I say this all the time, the cheerleading starts at home and there's no woman that can outdo me when it comes to my man sure. when you leave this house. You got your neck. So girl. that's my perceived value. That's I, what I bring to you, you actually miss some things, right? So we start when we start when we start adding, all right. So you know, I'm in ministry, mm -hmm. right? Those of y'all may not know, I'm a psychologist and a minister. Yeah. M Mecca can transition from the club. Let's keep it a buck. <laughs> Let's keep it a buck. All right, but you can, all right, from the club and go right into the church and pray. Uh, mm -hmm. Mecca leads uh, a woman's uh, seven day prayer challenge. Mm -hmm. Right. So she can she can do ministry. We can also go have fun. She also works out. All right. She's able to take care of our kids. And then we have a blend. So she's also mm -hmm. able to, to manage the, the blended side of our family, which is a lot. Right. She does organize. Right. Um, she's able to handle me in a silent way because I'm super verbal and the way she handles me, she hand y'all see that smile? Mecca y'all is from tell me where you from. Listen, South Central, right, Los Angeles, right, right, by Inglewood. Over Inglewood. Right, right. Yeah. So y'all, y'all thought she was Buckhead. She 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 from Inglewood family, right? And I'm from Decatur, right? So she can handle me, but in a way that actually I can respect by a look. Like, don't go there. And so so a purpose partner, we we sit down and do business together, right? Y'all see us flowing like this together. So I'm just being transparent. Where can I find all of that? Where can I find that plus 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 that? That's a lot. That's a lot. And my mama likes it, right? I'm just keeping it real. So we started adding all the women in my family like Mecca, right? They They on family reunion calls. What is stuff and the reason i'm saying that is that this is what every marriage minded man is looking for during covid our kids didn't meet, miss a beat even though you you had to work like yes. you know and, and i had to work but our kids while they were home homeschool and everything oldest one gifted sleeping all day <laughs> i made her get up but she didn't right. work for the whole semester and then our youngest you know, kids on the, the, the screen showing their butts, right? Because it's kindergarten. You know, you may you may have, and then we have a two year old, right? Yeah. Where where are we gonna find that? Are y'all getting that rare combination? Are y'all getting that? I just want y'all to get it. But I'm not. I do have a special woman, all right. Uh, but but our next door neighbor says the same thing about his wife. Yeah. Next door neighbor says the same thing about his wife. Yeah. Everyone in our neighborhood is married. Mm hmm. Everyone in our neighborhood is married, all right? And no matter what we go through, your perceived back, like, ladies, are y'all getting this? Is this resonating, right? So so what we're saying is being with you is infinitely more fulfilling than than, than this brother being by himself and being right. single, right? Uh, Mecca, Mecca likes to travel the world, all right? I was cool with staying in the United States, right? But I've been to Bali. Yeah. I've been to Fiji. Mm -hmm. I've been to Costa Rica. Mm -hmm. I've been to Jamaica numerous times. All right. What, what am I missing? We went to Hawaii. Yeah. Right. Yeah. All, 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 all these different all these different places. And I wouldn't have been to, to any 
I wouldn't have been to any. We've been to Dominican, right? Like, we've just been. A, I wouldn't have done those things, y'all. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't have done those things, and I wouldn't be half as well connected, right? Because Mecca's connections, because we're both super networkers, yeah. right? But anyway, I, we're only being transparent so that you can see, because this is not seen in the podcast, right? That your perceived value when you date a man, right? And we're going to show you how to find your perceived value and walk with that perceived value. You going to tell you like when you work with it, this is one of the things that you're going to going to get perceived value. Mm -hmm. Right? I I've, I've been I've been to Africa. Yeah, I Do haven't have, yet. Yeah, yeah, I've been I've been to South Africa. Right? And you've been to what, Italy? Where you yes. Yes. Yeah, so, so we'll be talking <laughs> individuals we leave. Where you going? Aren't you going to We'll see. <laughs> you said you were going to Tanzania. Yeah, I did. I went to Jamaica and then she came back. So I'm going to Tanzania. Anyway, anyway. All right. I'm not finna because I'm gonna have to take another one. That was Tanzania is too long. Right. I need to take a double trip. All right. The next one is connection, ladies. Connection. When someone's around you, do they feel like there's this this energy, like this this good energy? And I don't like to say, are you a vibe? Like, you know, being around you. Do you share common interests and goals? So this is about also finding someone that you guys share some of the same interests. No, you're not supposed to be exactly alike because we're very different, but you want to be able to tap into each other's lives and enjoy some of those same mutual things that you enjoy doing. And then are you interested in him and interesting to him? Mm. I'm going to pause on this, ladies. Okay. Listen in, listen in, listen in. Come are on now. interested in him and interesting to him. Now I'm going to pause right here for a quick second. Like I said, I know we have a few more slides to go through, but it's important that I pause here because what I find when we're talking about men who are men that a lot of women want, you know, a lot of times what happens and men tell me is that they feel like they're the prize when initially they were interested in you, but you don't even give them an opportunity to be into you because you're so interested in them that your world does not exist. And so one thing that we work with women on that go through our cohort is actually ensuring that you already have your own robust, amazing life before he comes into your life, that you have a fabulous group of girlfriends because it's necessary. Right. And so in order to attract the one, first of all, you have to become the one. Mm -hmm. You have to attract the one. Then you have to date the one and then you have to hook the one, mm -hmm. right? Uh, me being a psychologist, Mecca being in sales, we both have to hook people, mm -hmm. right? My my job is to connect with people very quickly, yep. right? Mecca's job is to- uh, make, Connect with people as soon as possible too, because right. people buy from people, people buy people, they don't necessarily buy products. If your products are apples to apples, they're yeah. buying the person. So one of the, one of the things and in, in working with us, we're going to teach you how to actually hook a man, like how you can be a vibe. Like there is an actual formula to it, mm -hmm. right? Like like being interested in him, but mm -hmm. also being interesting to him. This is how a man can go on a date with 10 other 10 women, but he only thinks of you. Those other nine numbers go in right. a trash can because he was like, man, I just I, I haven't found a vibe like this. And this is what makes a man retire his numbers, be able to focus solely on you because because you, can you see this 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 formula? The, the formula that you're that you're going through, you're starting to create yourself in being one of one. Hmm. Right. You're being one of one. And men are afraid of letting the one get away. Because men have dated at this point, because most of you are going to be dating men who are not dating for the first time. You're not dating 18 and 20, 22 year olds. You're dating men who are ready and it's that right. they're ready to find what the next door neighbor has, right? Because they see their, their, their formerly single brothers right. benefiting from, from all of this. And they're sitting at home, you know, not getting any of that, they're not getting a prayer partner. Mm -hmm. They're not, they're not fasting together. They're not investing in real estate together. They're not creating kids together. They're not taking care of parents together. We're not building wealth together. Right. We're not, we're not comforting one another when maybe there's a job right. layoff or we're not going for something scary and adventurous right. and a faith walk, you know, uh, that God has called us to do together because we're so low anyway. Man. So, so when you're, when you're a vibe, can you see how, when you go on a date, you're going to have three or four minutes. I think you're my wife. Right. We're about to have y'all go from going on dates and getting ghosted. All right. To going on dates and men are saying, I, where have you been? Mm -hmm. You are a prayer answered. Mm -hmm. Right. All right. Next is authenticity. 
are you who you say you are, ladies? And this is really just about being your authentic self. If you don't like to work out, if that's not your thing, don't tell this man that you're a part of a CrossFit gym and you go all the time. <laughs> Be who you say that you are. Um, are you truly interested in him? Or are you just, and I'm going to take it further than this, or are you actually just trying to get with him so you can have a baby because you want to have a baby and be married? Like men feel that. So you have to show up as your true authentic self. All right, can can you love me for better or for worse? Mm -hmm. Right now, as men, we want to be up. We want to be up for our own egos. But if things don't work out, will you still love me the same? Are you interested in Aldewan? Right. Not Aldewan's status, not what Aldewan can do for you. I get and you should want we have two daughters. We want you to have that security that comes with finances. Right. Even though many of you can provide that for your own. You want the option not to have to work. Right. Right. And, that, and that's great. Right. Or at least to have the option to take some time off because your husband's going to work, too. Right. right. Or whatever the case may be. Right. And not to just to have to hold it down by yourself. Right. But for better, or for worse, are you still going to love me? Are you still going to make love to me? even after I lost my job, mm. right? Now, Mecca will make love to me. And after that, she's going to try and say, all right, baby, let's get back on LinkedIn, <laughs> right? So that's what men are looking for. Do And, and, and men are upset that, that, that we have to remind you for better or for worse in the beginning of the dating process. Mm -hmm. We're gonna, we're gonna, we should, we should love you whether you go through menopause, you put on some weight, mm -hmm. you have to have a vasectomy, um, you lose your job, mm -hmm. your hair starts shedding, mm -hmm. uh, you have a bad hair day, uh, a pimple, mm -hmm. all right, you, you, you alopecia, um, you're not your best, um, you I'm gain with fibroids. fibroids. We're saying for better for or whether you lose your job or not, uh, you, you you get lost in the kids, you get lost in, in whatever projects you do. We 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 have to love you for better right. for us. But why are there all these conditions for us to be six feet, uh, six figures, and a six pack in the very beginning? Mm -hmm. Now I get it. We need to show up as our best self. Right. Can't be coming up with the gut, right, right, and 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 not being able to pay for a date. Right. right. Take right. For coffee every day. That's good right. at first. Right. We need to show up in a, in a way that provides mm -hmm. security. But at the same time, why do we have to remind you for better, or for worse? Do you mm -hmm. like me? Mm -hmm. Granted, you can be disappointed. Mm -hmm. Like I'd like for this brother to do better right. and then encourage me. That's that's the whole point. Right. That's the whole helpmate. Right. Oh, I just I just, I just spoiled it. Right. Yeah. Last one is a helpmate. Can you help make my dreams come true? Can we make dreams come together? Can can we for, for those of you that know your Bible? Can we be Priscilla and a killer? Can we preach in the Bible together as husband and wife? Look at what we're doing right now. This is our ministry. Like God put us together to do 360 degrees of, of marriage, like to get people married and then to keep them married. And neither one of us knew, but we found the purpose, the, the perfect purpose partner, right? Uh, to be able to create legacy. This woman helped me to create legacy, mm -hmm. right? I have, if, if, I didn't show y'all a picture of our family. I forgot to put that in there, but, but, but our son looked just like me. He looked just like me at two years old, right? And the boy is well taken care of, right? And our daughters, right? They're well taken care of, right? Can we make dream life dreams come true, right? Mecca wanted a honeymoon in Fiji. We partnered on that to 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 make that happen. I was thinking we were gonna go to Jamaica or something, and I saw the Fiji fee. I was like, Lord, let me go right back to work, right? But we were able to make it because that's what she wanted, and 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 Mecca, um, to your credit. You don't ask for a lot, mm -hmm. but when you do ask, it is expensive. All right, but you don't you don't ask all the time. Ain't a lot, right? But when you do ask, it's hard to say because you don't ask for a lot, right? How good of a motivator are you? If I'm down, can can you get me up? Right. Like for real, can you say? Look, and right. taking your man to the next level. Like Michelle Obama, she brought. You got to stop being broke. You have to stop playing around. Right. I need you to be president of the United States. Come command what you're doing. <laughs> hey, Steph Curry, when he first came in the league, you need to put up shots. Hey, LeBron James, you need to lock in and be a great family man. Right. In addition to a great basketball player, because that's what Savannah uh, wants. You get what I'm saying? Right. I, I know we shouldn't use celebrities because then next day in the news something right. happened. But do y'all get the essence of what we're saying? <laughs> right. What men are looking for is Barack Obama, LeBron James, Steph Curry, wives. That's what they're looking mm -hmm. for in, in different ways. And those are three different type of wives. They are. Those are three different, uh, Paul, Pauletta, 
mm-hmm. right? And Denzel, and Denzel uh, mm-hmm. Charlemagne the God and his wife, right? Mm-hmm. Like, and so Pierre and Russell, Pierre and Russell, right? And so it's so many different combinations, all right? Mm-hmm. We're picking celebrities because because y'all know who they right. are, mm-hmm. but it's 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 the couples that you see who are doing things. We want we want couples dreams. Y'all get it? So so when we start talking about that formula, let's recap. Can you see how now mm-hmm. men can put it in the chat? Can you see? Because I know they didn't think in the beginning. Mm-hmm. Can you see? How men have a legitimate point right. when it comes to not being able to find the one. I have to find visual chemistry plus a woman that understands that she should not be too easy for me, even right. though I'm a great catch. She should be, I'm the prize. Plus she knows her value. She's irreplaceable. I could date 19 other women and I'm still going to come back to the first date. Plus we vibe, we connect. Right. Cause how many times you've been on a date and it's just nothing there. Nothing right. was wrong. And then you're authentic. Who you are for real is who you are. And I have to adapt. Right. Plus you'll help me. Right. Like one of the things I had to adjust to with Mecca is that she's in pageants. Right. Which means that she has to be a fitness competitor. Right. Which means that as a minister, um, I had to get comfortable with her competing in a bikini. Right. Because she's in fitness. Right. And that's what she's been doing from day one. She's been in pageants since how old? Uh, since high school. High school. Mm-hmm. Right. And so I was like, all right, baby, you can chill with the working out in the bikini now to be married. And she was like, nah. When I when you met me, this That's is what, what I was, I was doing, doing yeah. right? I was working out. And she's still working out to this day in the gym, mm-hmm. right? All right. Now, now since we had children, she didn't kind of tamed it back. But right. then, even the dress right now, a little short, oh. right? <laughs> I like that. All right. But do y'all get it? So she's authentic. She's who she is, right? And I'm the same guy. Mm-hmm. I'm the same yeah. guy. I'm gonna talk. She's like, Lord, brother, shut up. But it's going to be the same. It's going to be the same. We're authentic. Mm-hmm. All right, y'all got it? All right, y'all got it? So so that equals deep, lasting attraction. And we want to help y'all to get it because y'all are looking right. at that. But the goal is to be able to develop into that. Mm-hmm. So so here's what we do. All right. So the Ring Formula Masterclass, and this is actually one of our Ring Formula ladies, Delisha, that got married this year after going through the program last year, she went through last year's cohort. And what we helped her do, which is what we help a lot of them do, is to become the one because you have to show up as the one. As the one. Some people don't even know how to get there. So we help you with that. Do the deep work. This is where the psychologist comes in and make as a sales rep. We help you to be able to do the deep work so Mm -hmm. that you become the one. So every date you go on, Mm -hmm. every man, Right. You know, who's marriage minded sees you as a wife. Right. He may not see you as his wife. This is how right. we're asking. Right. All right. It's like you're you're somebody's wife. Right. Right. We might be missing the connection. Right. But you are white and men know in a it matter of seconds. Like mm-hmm. that's a wife. Right. That's someone to play with. That's someone uh, to, to maybe have a good time with. Mm-hmm. Right. But we know a wife. Mm-hmm. The next one is attracting the one. And ladies, this is all about making sure that you are actually where you need to be in order to meet the one. Right now, he doesn't know you exist. Trust me. He doesn't know you exist. And then also being able to date the one. Which means that you have to position yourself around the good men. Here's something that you're going to get inside of the ring formula when you work with us is that you are no longer, women don't go through our course and say, where are the good men? They know. Destroy that, right? They know. Destroy that because we're saying, this is where you need to be looking. This is the mindset. Here's how you find it. And we provide a list to the women. It doesn't matter what city, we know exactly where you need to be. And, but really the thing is the mindset, all right? Not only are we well connected, but we're not going to do the work for you. I mean, we're not going to withhold if you're in a certain city, go this place or call someone and say, hey, but this is really about being able to just, see, once you become the one, Mm -hmm. you, you need to position yourself like how many of you are really around the kind of man you like on a regular basis? Part of what you're going to get with the, with the ring formula is that your day, your daily life, you're just going to be around great men, right? Right, Because you're going to change your whole mindset mm-hmm. and you're going to change the way you behave so that Absolutely. you go on a lot of dates with the one so that you're sure that you can find the one. All right. And the other one is com- we get women to understand how to commit to the one. And that's really just making sure that he commits to you because some of you all are around amazing men all the time, but- the commitment is not there. You get just close enough, but he doesn't commit to you. And then, of course, marry the one. Yeah. Right? Marry yes. the one. Because what we're excited about, because we've seen it, you know, we, we've seen this happen. We've been doing, we've been coaching for years, and we see women get married because, and then men are thankful. 
yeah. All right, men are thankful because thank you for providing someone that knows everything that we are uh, looking for, mm -hmm. what we are looking for, mm -hmm. right? And so this is another couple. Yes, this is Patricia. They just got engaged and I'm so happy for her because I'm so happy for all of our ladies, but she was actually very apprehensive because she's like, look, I'm over 50. It's all of these younger women. I don't think it's going to happen for me. Maybe love is just past the time for me. And look, look at these amazing engagement yeah, yeah. photos. And so, and so we, we, we're just showing you two examples, but one of the things that we want you to get while being in the program and then uh, right after, you know, finishing and following up with you is that you need to be dating. Like, like our mm -hmm. criteria is that in working with us, you need to be dating. Right. You, you have to be out there. At a worse, you need to be going on bad dates. That's the minimum. Yeah. That's the minimum. Start. But sitting around, watching, sitting at home, that's not going to work, right? And so part of this is being held accountable to going on dates. Because once you show up in a room full of marriage-minded men, which means that you're making being around men your new thing, you can't just go to work and come home, right? But being positioned, is that not in the Bible? Was Ruth not, um, I'm not going to preach too much, mm -hmm. was Ruth not positioned at Boaz's feet. Oh, it's a skill set. Was she not in the field? Mm -hmm. What's modern day positioning, right? Mm -hmm. We talked to you about modern day positioning, not only where you need to be, but when you're in a room full of men, how you need to act, yeah. how you need to work the room. Right. And how you need to show up because we can put you in a room, but if you don't know the strategy of how to make yourself stand out when you walk into that room, it's a lost opportunity. And feeling comfortable and having someone to be able to talk with mm -hmm. about, all right, when I get into a room, what am I supposed to do? Right. How do I engage? How do I get, how do I get away? How many of y'all been in a room where it's like three men you don't like and the two men you like, oh. on a, but the three men you don't like have cornered you. We talk about how to work mm -hmm. the room immediately when you go in, just like a sales rep, yes. right? To be able to get... So that man can see you because once you have high value and you have that formula mm -hmm. and, and that man is marriage minded yes. and available, right. right? It's only popping. Mm -hmm. It's only popping. All right. So let's, 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 we want to tell you, we want to tell you about how to work with us. Right. Mm -hmm. All right. So here's our diamond package, y'all. Mm -hmm. So the diamond package includes five personalized group coaching sessions. This opportunity is absolutely golden because it's a private masterclass group session where we coach you through exactly what you need to do to find the one, to meet the one. We walk you through a system. We walk you through a system where you become the one. So this is where we work through personal issues. This is where me as a psychologist becomes uh, a virtue for you all. Mm -hmm. We work you through your personal issues because we've been through some stuff, right. right? That makes us question ourselves when we shouldn't, all right, to become the one and then to be able to attract the one. How do I mm -hmm. get him into me? And then to be able to hook the one. Mm -hmm. right? Bait the one, right? And then be able to, how do, how do we have that commitment conversation up front so you're not wasting your mm -hmm. time so that you're dating with the purpose of commitment mm -hmm. to move towards marriage? So uh, we have a full master class that has yes. over six hours of content where we're walking you through how to do this on your own, yep. right? As soon as you're into it, you're in, you can consume this, this tonight and be mm -hmm. able to go through this so that you can date better by Friday, mm -hmm. right? And then we're going to ask you how it's going for you. So you mm -hmm. get Mecca and I on a regular basis mm -hmm asking you specifically how you're doing, what you are struggling with, what your wins are. You're learning from the other ladies, right? You get five of those. Okay, and then you also get one one-on-one -on -one session with Aldewan and I. This is specific to you and how things are going. And so women love this because it gives them the opportunity outside of the private group sessions to actually get that one-on-one -on -one intimate experience with us. All right. And then you get a personalized blueprint, right? This is where we, after we talk to you, whether it's going right. to be Mecca or myself, you're going to get a personalized blueprint. Like this is what you need to do. We saw your comment in right. Greensboro. We saw it. I saw, I saw the chat, right? This is what you need to do in Greensboro. This is where right. you need to be. This is what I see when I'm talking to you what Mecca sees that we need to focus on and this is what we need to hold you accountable so right. that you can be able to see your your blind spots yeah right and to be able to get results and all of that is for 1997 an incredible value but we're going to give you because you'll say 1997 that's a great deal we're going to yeah. make it even sweeter in just a second but for those of you ladies who want a little more mm -hmm. so for those of you all who want a little bit more we have the pearl package and the pearl package does include the all access to the, the ring pearl and master class that's where you go and you can do the coursework. You still have the five personalized group session, which then you have two one-on-one -on -one sessions with us. So that allows for you to have something on the front end with us and then the back end. So as you're dating and meeting guys, we're helping you through the process. 
You have a personalized blueprint plan. And then we do a social media assessment. How are you showing up online? And we go through your social media profile, your Instagram, Heavy. your LinkedIn. We go through through the changes, the things that you might need to change, whether or not you need a branding coach because of the way that you actually present yourself. Right. And so that is something we take a lot of time and, working and, on. And, and and here's the special. We actually rewrite your whole social media piece. Now, when we're talking about dating apps, like you're on dating apps and we see it, oh, no, don't say that. Change this picture. Now, Mecca, of course, that's on it. This is, these yeah. are the angles. This is what you need to hear. Mm -hmm. This is how it needs to look. But this is what you need to say. Mm -hmm. Even and, and, and even being able to say, hey, sh these are the guys that you're interested in. This is what you need to be saying. This is this no this this is what he's saying you need to decode. Right. This is how you come across and as perceived right. challenge for a guy you really like. This is how you get him. Yeah, he's texting nine other women. How do you get him on the phone? Right. How do you get him face to face? Right. So we're looking at what's going on with you real time, right? Mm -hmm. And so y'all can see that takes a lot of time. Because y'all not necessarily giving us your passcodes and whatnot. You can, but typically what we do is you just kind of record just it. Screen record. Yeah, yeah. And we go through it mm -hmm. and then we we write it like like what you should say. And then women are like, man, I, my DMs are popping. Now. right 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 because we know what men like right? right all right and we can also see it in a loving way right but for those of you that say you know what i just want to do it myself mm -hmm. all right the ring form of the master class 497 yep. right no coaching mm -hmm. do it your own i've certainly done it on my mm -hmm. own mm -hmm. right and, and and we have um also another a monthly coaching like now 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 this is bare bones for y'all to say we're gonna get some tonight we're gonna right. hit with something Right, we're gonna leave here with something. I just want to get with Aldoan and Mecca and just talk about what's going on in my life. Yeah, monthly that happens what the third Tuesday. Yes, the third Tuesday of every month. But you're not gonna get the you're not gonna get the master class. You're not and it's get a the... it's a group session, so right. it's it's literally once a month. But it's an accountability group, so right? You... And so we have a lot of women that come to the ring form and they're doing this because now they're dating two or three men, or, right? Or they've hit a, a bump in the road and they say, "Hey, here's what I need to do." Yeah, All right. So we're excited. We just want to give you all multiple options yeah. right, for yeah. everyone. One, right but you're gonna see what you're doing is you're getting more and more of our time because uh we we look forward to you being able to date and and, and engage and get married all right Absolutely. and so we're excited about you working with us and we want you to join now right we start in seven days yes, we start we next tuesday y'all next do. tuesday and we're gonna give you a discount that expires in 24 hours mm -hmm. right 24 hours we're gonna drop a link in a second but if you register tonight how much are we gonna knock off 400. 400, right? So instead of 1997, it's going to be 1597. But that offer expires in 24 mm -hmm. hours. It's gone. Right. It is gone. We already have women in the program right now mm -hmm. who missed the deadline last time, right? Mm -hmm. They missed it and they already missed Valentine's, yes. right? And now they want to do it, right? And so so we're we're excited. We 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 start March 5th and we want to work with you. We want to work with you. All right. So we want to do is we're going to drop a link of how you all can 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 work with us. Right. But right now we want to take, you know, some some of your we want to take some of your questions. We want to take some of your we're going to answer wait, wait, two or three questions, yeah. you know, about about the program or just dating mm -hmm. in general. And then we're going we're going to be good to go. We're going to make be sure we drop go. the link. We have some of the ladies asking for the link in the chat. It's ring formula dot com ringformula.com mm -hmm. right but we're gonna we're gonna drop it in the uh we're gonna drop it in the chat right here all right so here's the link here's the link all right and the code y'all the code to get 400 off all right of, of that first package mm -hmm. is ring right it's ring all right that's the code and so the chat asked, so the code is ring. It's going to last for 24 hours. I'm so excited to work with you all because we know that you're going to get results. And someone asked if we work with international clients. We have had a woman from Bali. Mm -hmm. We had someone from Dubai last right, time. Right. Um, we also had someone from Canada. Thailand. Um, Thailand. So absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you know, black women, you know, y'all all over. Right. And we work with diversity of women. Right. Now right. they're asking for Friday. I might. What's the day? Tuesday. I might let it okay. go till Friday. I don't know. All right. That's, that's the first of the month. So let's let's maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Okay. I, hey, listen, 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 yes, listen. People get paid on Friday. All right, but then Saturday is coming down because yeah. people crashing next. We, we have to start because there's something that we need to give you, you know, before we start, y'all. So yes. If you're in, 
if if you're in, let us know. If you're already in and you signed up and we, we're going to be able to see it, if you're in, let us know. We see Aisha's yes, in. We see Simone is in, right? Someone says they follow up with the program while in Belgium. We're going to let you know this is at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard yes. Time, and we'll give you the dates on Tuesday. So make, I don't, I don't want that to be 1 o'clock in the morning at Belgium, right? <laughs> Figure that out, right? Because we, we're here to be able, and, and here's the thing. We want you to be uh, present because- yes. We go deep and we do not record our coaching sessions. And we don't record the coaching sessions, ladies, for privacy reasons. It is truly a private session, private group session with the ladies that are in the cohort. So we don't record it for that purpose. But yes, we do have women that join literally from all over. Right. But if, if you happen to miss it, whatnot, you know, you could tell Meg, Meg and I, this is a ministry for us, mm -hmm. right? You just hit us up and say, hey, what did I miss? But right. really it's about what's going on right. with you so that by the time you get on this call, we are good. Mm -hmm. All right. So, all right, let's take a couple of questions, y'all. Let's take a couple of questions because okay. I see all right, more people are in. Yes. I'm Welcome excited. Ladies. And there will be a replay of this for mm -hmm. you to share with your girlfriends. Yes. Some of you might need to say, hey, you know what? Do this with me right? right let's let's do this together but most time women are not trying to share this information no they're trying to, they're trying to get it in for that themselves is true. that is true but two of our ladies that got um one that was married one that was engaged had girlfriends that were on the sidelines way like i'll just i'll let you see how it is and now all of their girlfriends joined the last cohort because now they're engaged and married and right. they're still single right and, so. uh, and 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 to be transparent one of the things that 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 we can proudly boast about all right is majority of women are dating Right. We've had women who haven't dated in seven years, five years, three years, who are going out and being asked on dates and realizing, man, I'm so uncomfortable on a date. And I'm glad that I went on a date because now I liked it and I'm no longer I want what I like right. he wanted to marry me on the first date. I didn't really like him. Right. But now what it's done is open my eyes that there are more men out there than what right. I thought. Because uh, and, and I see y'all, y'all, y'all asking, right? Because y'all are saying, you know what, where are these marriage minded men? Mm -hmm. All right, let me, can, can, all right, babe, I'm, okay, you know what, let's go ahead and put, I'll put you on the spot, right? Nope. You're in Atlanta, Georgia, right? It's uh, this, this week. Where, give, give them, mm -hmm. should we? I just feel like we should take their credit card information for this. No, no, no God wouldn't be no, happy. So God we'll, would have, we'll get right, three. Give, give it, you want to give them three? Just three. Three places you should be to position yourself around marriage minded men. Now let me let me be transparent, right? You're going to be around married men too, right? But when you're in a room full of men, 50% of them are going to be single. 40% of them are going to be single. And the longer you wait, you wait another 5 years, 8 years, those men are going to be married, right? right. Marriage minded men are not going to wait. Right. They're not going to wait. Once they find the one, it is over. Mm -hmm. Game over. Mm -hmm. Why why be in the streets when when I can be at home, you know, um, having everything that I want, having a, a combined Easter for my family, right. having a, if it's a blended family, right? Where, where can it be? All right. All right. So come on, give places. Okay. So this week, I might, I might max your three. Let's see. Cause I love the people, right? Okay. So the, so this week I would definitely go to the gathering spot, which is a private club here in Atlanta. So I would go there, right? Because They're having a gala. They're, they're having, yeah. A gala to celebrate how many years. And I think next week, yeah. A so gala, a uh, black tie. Yeah. Right. Uh, it is a private membership in Atlanta. Yep. And why do men join? Men join anything where there's money. Right. Right. Anything there's money. And there's a gathering spot in L.A., in D.C. I think there's one coming to. I don't want to speak on. Yeah. Because uh, Brian going to get me. But then the other one that I would say is. So we talk about this, but it's Lifetime Fitness. I am into mm. health and wellness and working out. I was sleeping on that. So I would also go to Lifetime Fitness, specifically the one in Buckhead. And the reason why I say that is because they're- They, they go to Alpharetta? They have more social events. It's more for- Buckhead location is more for their professional, their busy professional executives. So they have a lot of social networking functions there. It's a place where you can go and work and work out. So I would go there. Um, another place that I would go is to the upcoming Black MBA meeting for the Atlanta chapter. That's so good. I would also Maybe go there we, too. So Swipe them free, babe. No, I know, I know. I gave them three, but listen, because listen, they I'm may playing. not know what to do when no, they get we're playing. that's what I know what to do. Y'all can tell. Y'all can, <laughs> can tell I'm playing about that, right? We, <laughs> what, we just we just want you to be, because the goal of this is we know uh, those of you who are committed and intentional and know you need a ring formula plan and you want to be held accountable, you're going to be in, right? Mm -hmm. Our classes are always packed, right? That's not the issue, right? All right, but we want th those of you 
you, all right, to be able to, to know and have the mindset, even watching this right, right. now, right? Uh, let's see. Let me add, let me add one because you went way up there. You okay. went way up there, all right? Uh, let me give you Hawks game. The Hawks game, all right? So the the local basketball game, right? But I think a better one is a football game because of the tailgating, right? It's going to be mostly, think, you need to think mostly men. Where do mostly men go so that if I show up, I'm in the minority? Mm -hmm. I'm in the minority. So I'm going to give you the football game, all right? Neither one of us smoke, mm -hmm. right? But if you do or you don't mind smoke, you need to be up in the cigar bar. I'm coming with it, baby. You know, uh, you need to be up into the cigar bar. Specific. Listen. A more specific one than that. What, the cigar bar? The place where to no, be. No. Yeah. I, I don't. I'm not um, Cam Newton. Oh man, Cam Newton's. Um, because again, there's a certain profile. You shouldn't have given man. that. You shouldn't. They didn't, okay, they didn't. I'm gonna stop. But just listen, that's a good one. Though. Listen, I know where to be, and I also know what to do when you show yeah. up, so you stand yeah. out in the room. All right, I'm, so, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna tell the story really quickly. Really quick. I'm tell the story really quick because people don't believe me, right? Because because I'm out. That's what and and Mecca's out because Mecca has to be out to to get to make money. Let's right. keep it a book. Yeah. Let's keep it a book. Cardiologists are out and she needs to make friends with them before they go to the hospital. Before you meet them in the hospital, you have to, if you get two, three, four points of contact, the more connected, or you can say, I know this person. Do you know this person? That's what sales is all about, right? Mm -hmm. And then I have to be out and about because of media and the things that I'm I'm called to do, right? Right. And so uh yeah, Cam Newton Spite is the fellowship, right? Yep. It's called fellowship, mm -hmm. right? So here's go, all right. Friend of ours, I'm not gonna say his name, right? Uh real big in politics here in Atlanta, right? Uh he says, I only need to come out, right? And I told Mecca, I'm gonna mm -hmm. lose him as a friend if I don't I've told his brother no so many times, he gonna stop calling. Matter of mm -hmm. fact, I didn't even know about this event. He 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 sent it to me a month ago and I found on someone else's page that they were going, right? Anyway, I go, all right? And the ratio is 80 to 20, 80 percent. Men, 20% women, because it is a political fundraiser event. Y'all not, y'all not, y'all don't believe us. Y'all don't believe us that it's the ladies. This is your year. This is the year of politics. So I go, events. I go, my homegirl is there, right? We're talking, we're talking, right? And uh, as I'm talking to her and catching up, brothers are looking at me doing like double dutch like as soon as this brother's gone i'm shooting my shot because they see a ring on my finger right they see no ring on her finger they've gauged that we are friends right there's nothing nothing going on right there right because she's kind of looking and, and scouring the room and i say hey you know what if if um if you see something you like i'll go to the bathroom asap because these brothers are hungry for you right these brothers look like they're about to eat you up right mm -hmm. and she was like nah these two right here no but if that brother right there in the bar looks at me mm -hmm. i'm i'm out right mm -hmm. see you later right your brother looked at her mm -hmm. i was gone i did not see her the rest of the night right because brother after brother after brother after brother every woman there had three to four guys who she had a conversation with, mm -hmm. right? Yep. All right. No, I'm not talking about the mayor, even though he <laughs> is my friend. Is I am not talking about. I'm like, I'm about to say something, y'all. Think anyway. I'm gonna say it, but but no, I'm not saying anything about Mayor Dickens, even though we grew up together. I'm not saying that, right? But what I'm what I'm what I'm we might have been raised money for him, right? All right, but that's not who hosted it, right? So, but what I'm saying, if you get in that crowd, mm -hmm. you get in that vibe. Now we just gave you different cities, like you you can get in the whole fitness realm. You can you can get men at all walks of life are gonna hang out. All right, let's take one more question then. All we'll right, so really good, quickly, I'm gonna I wanna no, hit I'm, these. I'm I wanna hit these. Yeah, I wanna hit these really quick, rapid, rapid fire. So, any advice for women that are actively working on a, overcoming social anxiety? Yes, we have worked with several women that have social anxiety, and with Alduan being one of your coaches, and not just someone who's a self-proclaimed dating expert, but he is a actual therapist. That is golden for anyone that's in our program because he also brings real life right. therapy. I'm going to be honest. That's 30% of the women in our program have some form of social anxiety. And I just dropped another link. Uh, we sent you right to the teachable page, but I want y'all to go to ring formula so you can kind of look and see what it is. Some of y'all say, I need to feel this out. I need yeah. to see what it is. I need to play with it a little bit. Go to ringformula.com and take a look at this. Mm -hmm. Take a look at this, right? But yeah, with social anxiety, I can tell you mm -hmm. treatment, right? So part of it is called exposure therapy, right? And exposure therapy is where we expose you to what you fear. And then when you see it mm -hmm. does not happen, your brain expands. All right. So we've had women have not dated for seven years right. that now in a, in a series of two months are now going on a series of dates. Mm -hmm. Why? Because they got out there. 
part of it is you made the investment and you want to return on your investment. Mm -hmm. And it, and, and part, the part of the power of the group cohort, cohort, when you see another woman with social anxiety that's going right. on dates, or you see other women, it's like, right. look, I have my social calendar and I met men in right. these different cities and I work. Then you're able to say, hold up. Yep. Men are out here. Right. Men are out here. And here's the thing. You only need one. Yep. You only need one. We don't yep. need nine men. This is not like money. If you have one dollar, you broke. Right. If you had nine, four bucks, four bucks, you broke. But if you have three men, four men who are interested in you in the next year, and then one of them says, hey, you're the one mm -hmm. that's worth every ounce. Mm -hmm. That's worth every ounce. Absolutely. And Aldemana is going to send out the recording. That was another question I saw in the chat. You will have the recording. We're definitely going to send it out. Five minutes after this is over. Yes. And then let's see, what do you say to a woman that has been, that has been those things for a man, but it's been abandoned. So we talk about rebuilding your confidence back up because you're recovering from that pain. Again, that's another one of Aldewan's. Uh, it is. You know, listen, 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 you know, uh, we want to just give it to her, All right? Because we love y'all. Y'all can get value. Y'all can see that we're going to over deliver, right? She says she's been abandoned before. Mm -hmm. You know, the best way to get over pain, uh, one way is to heal. Mm -hmm. Another way is to date again. Right. Because when you start dating again, and this is what we're saying, you're focusing on that pain. What does he what does future have to do with, with Sierra? Yeah, future. Nothing. Right. What does another friend of mine, what does Fantasia have to do? What is the men she used to date? What's what's what do they have to do with their current husband? Right. Absolutely nothing unless you make it. Mm. Right. So yeah. you need to be dating mm. part of what we're going to hold you accountable to mm. doing is that you must be dating to get mm. new data on who you are you really mm. think you're going to trip about your ex when you have three to four men mm. who are hitting you up on a regular basis who are asking what you're doing mm. two weeks in advance because they've met you and you've worked on yourself you've invested in yourself to the point where you are dating at a higher vibration you know how to you see other women making mistakes mm. and you're able to be a high challenge and high value right Right, right. And don't let your thoughts, I know it's difficult and we work with building the confidence. I think about something that I thought that was so strong and I'll say this quickly. I saw a clip of Russell, Russell um, Wilson, Russell Wilson, yeah, mm -hmm. share. And he said that he remembered the first time he met Little Future. He said Little Future crawled to him. He was nine months. Imagine if Sierra said, I'm a single mom, I have a baby, and no one's going to love me in this space. And I'm a celebrity. Imagine if she felt that way. God told Russell, you are going to love this child and this woman the same. You're going to love this baby as if he were your own. Listen, and we see, belief has to be there. And, and and so that's not something that she could have anticipated when it happened. So listen, everyone has a faith work, a faith walk. Yep. Mecca and I had a faith walk. It was not easy. I was humble. Mecca was humble because we both thought it was going to be easy mm -hmm. to find the one. I, I really did. I said, God, I'm good. I don't mm -hmm. think I need help with dating. Right. But I did. I needed Mecca to position herself mm -hmm. because I would have never met. Our social circles are so different. We would have right. never met. So she position you position yourself well. And then when I saw her, it, it was immediate, right? It was, it was, it was on and popping, right? Because even though I was dating a lot of women, and 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 I'll be honest, I'm gonna be honest, y'all. Um the women I were dating, almost all of them are married. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, one of you know, one's passed, right? Uh, but the other ones I was dating, they were all wives. They were all wives, they just weren't my wife, right? Right, but they are all happily married. Right. And, and, and doing and doing extremely, extremely well, extremely well. And that's what we want to get. So we're going to pray because we are. Mm -hmm. All right. This is what we want you to understand. All right. Once you become the one. Everything changes. Mm -hmm. You have opportunities. Imagine what could happen when you become the one and you put the work in and you're around other women who are becoming the mm -hmm. one and you're actively going on dates. How good would it feel to actually go on a date, two dates a month because you know what to do? You have the mindset of positioning yourself right? Mm -hmm. You know how to hook a man. When you're on a date, you know, by and large, this man is going to be, I know how to get into this man, how to make mm -hmm. him feel interesting mm -hmm. and allow him to be interested in me because now I've developed a life, right? Versus watching mm -hmm. and, and seeing other women marry a man that you should have married, right. you had a bridesmaid. No, we don't want that. We want, we want all things to happen. It says plans fail for lack of counsel. 
-hmm. But with many advisors, they succeed. And what Mech and I are doing is that we're stopping our lives and we focus on Tuesday nights in this ministry and working with you exclusively to be able to help you today towards finding the one. Mm -hmm. All right. So so I'm I'm excited. Yeah, I'm excited. Right. Yes. And if y'all and if y'all want uh, testimonials, if y'all want to ask other women in the program, is this legit? Email us. Let me drop the email in there. Email us. All right. I will drop it in there. I'm gonna put you up that email in there. <laughs> So they can get a response quick. I just feel this on my heart to share this, ladies, that there are women that are currently listening in right now. And you're just wondering if this is for you. And I'm going to say that it is because the chance, the possibility, what I know is literally the end of this year, you can be engaged. The end of this year, you can be engaged. All it takes is a moment for God to completely change and transform the outlook of your life. But you have to make a decision for things to be different in your life, which means you have to show up differently to become a different person. You have to make room in your life for this man to exist. We are out there. And I want you to see that with your own Mm -hmm. Yes. Remember, we have to be held accountable when you say we did what you said and we didn't see anyone. Mm -hmm. Right. We we we're both believers. We have to be held accountable for that. Mm -hmm. and, and part of this is you being able to see that there is a conspiracy to keep especially our people mm -hmm. uh, versus one another versus actually right. dating. And what you've seen with the whole uh, frustrated man right. movement is that they're upset that they're being rejected. The average man is being rejected. 19 out of 20 swipes. Yeah. Y'all are all swiping the same man, mm -hmm. right? And men are men are furious because they want to be married. I'm not talking about the players. Right. I'm not talking about narcissists. I'm not talking about mama's boys. I'm not talking about users and abusers, mm -hmm. drug dealers and that stuff. And I'm not, I'm, we're not judging any of that, right? But what I'm saying for your intents and purposes, marriage-minded men are frustrated mm -hmm. because they can't even get to you. Right. Because you won't position yourself. You won't leave your house. Mm -hmm. The confidence is messing with you. Your ex is messing with you. Your social anxiety is messing with you. You're you're in room attracting mm -hmm. younger men. You're attracting men who, who don't have their stuff together simply because you're not positioning yourself around the men who do have their stuff together right. mind body and soul we didn't even talk about where to meet men in ministry right we didn't, we didn't even talk about how we we haven't even talked about the god piece of this right, right. and that's where I, we're excited so um i just want y'all to be able to just focus on what you want and be able to put a plan forth and actually we know many of you are gonna work with us some of you work with us later and some of you working with us right now this is yes. opening eyes and we're cool with it mm -hmm. all right so if all hearts of mine are are, are clear right i see you you're right says so society doesn't want us to be mm -hmm. powerful right but we can right and if you position yourself mm -hmm. and you will position yourself you're gonna say man uh, really quickly we had <laughs> uh remember when we told people to go to the 100 black men party oh right you know yeah. what the biggest complaint was it was too many men they said it was too many men yeah. and they didn't have time to focus yes. on all the men because they got locked into three conversations and that's when it becomes real. So you learn by doing, right? A lot of y'all say, I don't have any problem meeting a man and then you meet a man you like. You're like uh, right. Uh, Where do I start? Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, are you calling him? You know, he's 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 asking you for pictures and you send them because you never had it anyway. But they were like, and so I said, we told you to work. Mecca told you to work the room. Right. Here's how you do it. Here's the strategy so that you can go to the next one, right? And we're going to tell you not only how to get in a room, but how to work that room so you know everywhere to go in the city right. by being with the people in the know. Mm -hmm. All right. So let's let's pray. Yes. You, you want to pray them out? I want, you want me to pray them out? What you feel? Both of us. All right. All right. Dear Lord, I thank you for every single woman that has yes, taken Lord. this time out to really just take control of her future, take control of the things that she wants in life when it comes to love, because she knows that she's a wife. And that's something that you have spoken to her that she knows without a doubt. And so as we asked her Lord that you would allow for her to walk confidently into that. We asked her Lord that you allow for her to be guided in the right direction, that you protect her heart, um, but that you also allow for her to not miss out on the opportunity to meet the person that you have this, that you've ordained for her. I ask, dear Lord, that you continue to use us as your vessels. It's something that we do not take for granted, dear Lord. We ask that you allow for us to continue to be the guides to so many women that are looking towards meeting their one. 
Lord God, we just ask and pray that you have your way, Lord. We know that faith without works is dead, Lord. If we do work, then it can increase our faith, Lord. Mm -hmm. And then we have more faith, then we can do more work, and then we get more results. A brother can can be uh, can see you and, and can feel you and can and can give you validation and can say. I haven't met a woman like you. No matter what we think and how we believe, we all deserve validation that someone sees us as special, Lord. Yes. And we ask and pray for that in, in, in multiplication, Lord. We pray for that in the multiplicative, Lord. We ask and pray that there's multiple men are like, all right, it's been so great to go on a day. I can't wait to date you again, Lord. And we also ask and pray, Lord, that we not personalize this and know that this is a walk and a journey, especially modern day. Mm -hmm. That ladies have to date many men, yeah, many men to get to the one, Lord. Mm -hmm. Now, sometimes there's this faith and this fate and this destiny where the first date you go on, that becomes you. But we know most of it is being able to have the encouragers to be able to move forward. Lord, we ask and pray that you unlock doors for them and that they feel something in the spirit from you, Lord, and that you allow us to be their guides in whatever capacity, whether this is the only time we meet them, whether it's a deep dive, whether it's later, Lord, we know that you're having your way, Lord. We ask and pray that you have your way in their life, Lord. We ask and pray that there's an energy, that there's something that they do right after this call, right after they watch this, even if they rewatch this multiple times, that there's something that moves and quickens in their spirit mm -hmm. to be able just to go out once, to go out twice, to update the social media, to be able to ask for a hookup, whatever it is that you've had conversation yes. with them, that this is confirmation, Lord, and that you'd have your way, Lord. So we're excited about being able to create families, to be able to create legacies. We're excited about the great, great grandkids that are going to be produced as because of what is done today and the work that's being done, Lord. And we're excited and we're just thankful and we're humble to be there, guys. These things we ask in Jesus' holy name. Amen. Amen. Right. Amen. You no, know, we did not. We did not mention y'all. You know, uh, uh, payment plans, right? There's there's monthly payment plans. If this is something that you need to pace out, we did right. not, we did not mention that. So yeah. if you go in there, you'll see that it's an option for you to pay monthly, right? right? Because we 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 know what's going on, and we want this to be something that um, uh, you're invested. Mm -hmm. but this is something that you're comfortable with, and we're excited. We are so excited. so we love you all. Please, please, please let us know and give us feedback. Yeah, how this went for you all because we're excited. And, and we love you and uh we'll see y'all we'll see y'all real soon yes. all see right take week. care see you next week god bless